My name is Emery, and I want to tell you about a serious problem that needs to be solved. People are abusing animals all over Oregon. Think of a pet or animal you love. Can you imagine it getting locked in a hot car or left without free water? Can you even imagine it getting hurt? It would crush you if a beloved animal got abused. And that is my cause. I want to help stop animal abuse and help the voices be heard. I have put together a three-point plan. This plan can help stop animal abuse. The first part of my plan is to create Lend a Paw. Lend a Paw is a shelter program. It can help educate new pet owners on how to take care of their animals. And I believe that education can prevent animal abuse. In Lend a Paw, the P stands for participate. Participate by volunteering your time at shelters or hosting a food drive. Help out by playing with the animals or feeding them. Get them used to human love. A stands for acknowledge. Acknowledge that animals need love, care, and attention in a good home. Share educational videos and posters showing how to appropriately care for animals. W stands for welcome. Welcoming animals into your home or a friend's home is a huge part of Linda Paw. It is important when welcoming a new animal that they are going with an informed and caring family that won't abuse them. The second step of my plan is to organize fundraisers and supply drives. From Linda Paw, this would be the participate step. By partnering with local businesses, we can hold a supply drive to collect important items, such as food, blankets, and toys for animal shelters. A fundraiser supported by a school bottle or can drive can help with the cost some shelters or veterinary hospitals face by providing medical care to animals in need. The third step is to stop people that have been convicted of animal abuse from owning another animal. There are several ways to acquire an animal, such as pet stores, shelters, and home breeders. While shelters have questionnaires and an adoption process, many pet stores and breeders don't. It's important for anyone selling an animal to know whether or not the buyer has been convicted of animal abuse, so they do not sell to them and another animal is not abused. Because of this, I think mandatory background checks are needed before any animal goes to a new home. The best way to stop animal abuse is to prevent it from happening in the first place. And I'm confident that with your vote, we can accomplish that. A vote for Emery is a vote for animals.